So apply a longitudinal glide along the line of the femur by extending the knees and leaning backwards. While maintaining the glide, move the patient's leg passively into a pain-free range of the straight leg raise. If pain is provoked, try to eliminate pain by moving the hip into abduction, abduction, and or external or internal rotation while repeating the movement into the SLR. Apply three repetitions on the first treatment occasion with six to ten repetitions subsequently. Hold the stance at the range of motion for up to ten seconds and return to neutral position before reducing the longitudinal glide force. Pain should be in the posterior thigh and not below the knee, as I said before, for the technique to be useful and successful. If the patient is tall, lay the patient on a mat or on the floor versus lying on a plinth. Maintain the glide force throughout the technique until resuming the neutral position. If symptoms are made worse by the maneuver, compression may be used instead of traction. This technique may also be used as a treatment for chronic lower back, buttock and posterior thigh pain in patients presenting with limitation of straight leg raise. Some clinical reasoning gems. This technique can be used prior to training and exercising in patients where hamstring muscle length appears to be affecting training ability. Clinical experience suggests it is very useful in patients with hamstring related pain around the ischial tuberosity, often misdiagnosed as tendinosis and sometimes irritated by stretching. In those patients, the combination of the traction SLR technique and eccentric loading can be effective.